Alright guys, so now we're going to teach you guys how to play the spoils. Um, we both have our decks of 41 cards, that's including our two staple energies that we start with. I'm running the Deception trade, Anna's running Obsession trade, and uh, I have my Rogue staple, she has her Arcana staples. We're both running the Tournament Faction, so we're both going to have Influence of 25, and we're both, uh, we both get two starting uh, staples, as you can see, we already have. And uh, we did use the special foil ones that came with the game. They're the kind of fancy um, to start out with, just to kind of get some nice visuals on the table. If you guys watch our unboxing, you probably saw all of them. Um, if you have not seen the unboxing, please check that out so you guys will know the components and see some of the cards and artwork and all that. Um, but I will go ahead and we'll just, you want to roll to go first or roll to cho to see who chooses to go first? Sure, we can <clears throat> roll who goes first. Now, do, you, first. do you want me to choose who goes first or yeah, I just roll choose. to go yeah, first? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll let you go first. So that's going to allow Anna to draw eight cards. And you will draw. And I can draw nine. And all that information is right here on our faction card. <clears throat> okay. So you can either. You can either draw a card or you can play a resource. So. But you can do only one or the other. And I will. On your develop. Play role. a resource. Uh, the other things that we have on our tournament factions are that we can, if we want to draw one card, then we can pay, pay three resource. Or if we want to play a resource, we can pay four to play that extra resource. <clears throat> I will pay two and attach them to my faction, and that is my quotation, quotian concealer, um, and the card interplays with a token on it, and I will remove a token from this card, pick a character that gives that character covert. Which you want to explain covert to them? Uh, covert when you can when you form a covert party, um, you must have covert available on each of those cards. Now this card will actually put covert on any character that she chooses up to two, uh, because she can only put two tokens on this at a maximum. So she could pick either this card and another, or she could pick two cards that are not in it. If that if that party covert party attacks my regular party, I cannot block it. They'll just go ahead and attack my faction. It would take a covert party to block a covert party, but a covert party also cannot block my regular party when I attack. Okay. And I know that's a lot of information, so you guys may have to play back the video and play it again. <laughs> and I apologize. <laughs> um, okay. Me? Yep. You too. Okay. Um, I will play a resource. But I will not need it here. I will attach it. Now when you attach, you're physically putting your cards onto your faction card to symbolize that you have used these resources to either play a card, play a card, play a um, tactic, or so on or so forth. Now there are some cards that are character cards and tactic cards, uh, such as this Gassy Gastronas, Gastronas, how do you pronounce that? And uh, you can play it as a tactic, but it comes in as a character, um, like a regular character would. So it would come in, it couldn't attack when it came in, um, but strategically, if you play it as a tactic, say on another person's turn, then you would be able to use it on your turn when it came around because you controlled it before your next turn. So, and turns out I just realized that that's how it worked. <laughs> Like I just put the, I just put it all together. So I paid two. Uh, I put out my befuddling beggar. I actually look at my cards now. And I could put a different card out, um, or use this other card, but I didn't. So 
Um, I can attack, but I can deplete this. I can deplete it, and when I do, that's the cost. But the effect, this turn, uh, I can, the character, I, I pick a character, so I'm gonna pick Anna's, and either gains or loses a speed. So I'm obviously going to pick hers to lose a speed. So hers is a speed of three, now it is a speed of two. And that, that only lasts until the end of her turn. So it'll actually come back to me, and then it'll be back to speed three. But just to show how depleting a card and its effect, that's a simulation. Okay. So, I'm going to detach, and I'm going to play a resource. And then I'm going to attach, and I am going to play Insidious Ecto Manipulator. So at the beginning of her turn, if she had a depleted card, she would turn it right. Um, she didn't, so she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to deplete her card to do any certain action. I did. So she detached. That was the only thing she had to do. She played a resource. She reattached <laughs> all of her resources to play this card. And now she has a covert card and, and then, a card that can make other things covert. Right, so this card, remove a token off this card, pick a character, this turn that character gains covert, which is, I'm going to pick that one. So these two have covert. I can't block it, even even if I was turned face, uh, even if I was right side up, I still couldn't block it because I'm not a covert opponent. And I also can't block because I'm depleted. Um, will you be attacking with... No, three? this guy can't attack. Right now, because I just played him. Oh, that's right. But he can attack, but I'm not going to attack right now. But it's a free point to my influence. I can't do anything. I guess so. Yeah, let's do that. I'll use him to attack you for one. Okay. You don't You don't have to oh. deplete it. Okay. It, stay, it stays like this. But it, was atta it attacked. The only time... Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Attacking depletes. The only other time you deplete is when a card says to deplete it. Um, so if you do like its action on the bottom, like this one, you would not have to deplete. But mine did. It said cost. Deplete this card. So that'd be the only time you deplete. Or if you're attacking, you deplete the card as well. <clears throat> uh, so it's me. Mm -hmm. I take my minus one. Now the tactical abilities you can play, like right now. I'm going to save and show you guys um, on the next time around when it changes, when it's changing to my turn, but you can play a rogue tactic in between turn transitions. So she ended the, her turn, right now it's turn transition, I could have played a tactic and then it would have been my turn. So I'm kind of not being sneaky by telling you guys that I'm going to do something, but then again I haven't said what it is, so hopefully it still works. So I turn my guy right up right side up because it's now my turn. I detach my um, resources and then I can either draw a card or play a resource. And I will actually play a resource. And then I will use two resources. So I will only attach two and leave two unattached resources. So I have two on the card for attached to play. Actually, I will not play that because it wouldn't even work. So let's detach those real quick. Detach. Unattach. Detach. Detach. <laughs> Detach. <laughs> Detach. 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 You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play anything right now because uh, I think. You know what? I am gonna play something because I can't do this yet, so I can't show that. So let's go ahead and do... Oh, yep, let's, um, let's play this. Re now this is how you're, this is uh, kind of nice that this card popped up because now I can show you. I'm going to play him as a down, face down resource. And then also the cards, these resources also have these little icons on them. 
that's going to be your threshold cost. So this guy is two and two. So he's two cost and then two threshold. Now your threshold are icons attached and detached. Doesn't matter where they're at. Um, the face down resource right here, and I'm going to show you what else he can do. I'm going to go ahead and just say it since we're just showing you and Anna can know he has a flip up. So what's going to happen in the future whenever I decide to pop him is I'll pay his flip up and then he's going to come into play as a character and then I can use his abilities on his card. Um, but right now he's a resource. Um, and Otherwise you cannot take place down resources and use them again. Yeah, and did I draw a card this turn? Or did I play a resource? I if I played a resource, I can't put this. I think I played a resource, so I can't do that yet. Okay, so I'll just pick that back up. Um, we will go ahead and we'll just attach three to play Headlong Purloiner. And that is a rogue character thief. I will... I will... I will attack. And he's covert, so he can't do anything. So it's one to your faction. So you're at 24, I'm at 24. It's pretty even okay. so far. Is it my turn? Yes. So to count our life, we used a d20 and a d6 because we both have 25 points. And uh, the markers that Anna is using are these little gems. Little damage counters that used to come with Pokemon and now they don't. They're just... At the start of your turn, you may pick a non-resource card you control and put a token on it. And then... And that can, can't that card hold up to two tokens? Or can it hold more? It doesn't say anything about... Oh, okay. So I thought that was a card that had a two capacity. It actually can hold probably as many as you want to put on it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. So she could give all of her cards covert at one time if she wanted. And Is there then, a reason these two are touching? Yep. Okay. So this one, because they're a party, I'm going to make this one covert again. And this party is covert party is going to attack him. And that is three. One, one strength, two strength, so that's three damage to me because I cannot block it. And that makes oh, these ones four. depleted. So that, so that puts me at 21. And when this card enters play, you may search your deck for a tactic and reveal it. If you do, put it in your hand. Yeah. Now, eventually we'll show you how to play defense when I get rid of her covert characters. If I get rid of her covert characters. But considering they can't block me, then she can't say, I want to block with these guys. And then they... Um, well, if they can't play defense, then... Violating ritual. Okay, so she played a card, or uh, an ability, off of him, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that let her search her deck for a card. Now she's playing Violet, Violet I'm not playing Ritual. it, I'm just putting it in my hand. Or picked it out of there. Um, no, I'll play it. Its cost is pick an opponent. The, the, the effect is that opponent discards two cards. Yep, so I'm going to play that now. And you get to draw a card. Yep, you discard two cards, I get to draw a card. Okay, well we might need those later. This is too high cost. This is what I was going to save to use. But I'll go ahead and discard it. And I'll also discard this so I can at least show them how flip up works. <coughs> is it passed off to me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll detach. I'm going to... Play a resource, a card face down. And then I'm going to pay three resources to draw a card. Because if you get too car low on cards, you don't have a whole lot of options. And you start possibly beating sweat because you don't have anything to do. <coughs> so do remember this card down here is face down, the uh, red sleeve that you guys can see and remember that that card will pop up sometime here in the future um since i still have two resources left i'm actually going to play the card that i just drew and we'll just attach those as well and when this card enters plays play the top two cards of an opponent's deck into the discard pile so 
she just made me discard two cards, so two cards back. We are even as far as mm. that goes. Uh, he can't attack, so I'm gonna put him down here in the uh, in the second line, which there's no lines. I just categorize it that way uh, as a personal reference to not attack with that character because they just came out. So I will create an attacking party here uh, with two on my strength and one. They're both speed fours. So as of right now, we're going straight for the faction, unless she decides to block with her speed three. I will block with my speed three. Okay, and we, as a party, attack first because we have speed fours. Mm -hmm. So she will actually lose all her life and that character will die before she can strike because our speed was higher than hers. Now, I don't have any remaining uh, damage left, but even if I did, I could not split and go over here to the influence and hit that as well. I would, all my damage would go to that one card and that would it. So she has actually saved from me taking damage away from her influence. So now I will let Anna go. And now my guys are depleted. Her guys are undepleted. She detaches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost said attaches again. Mm -hmm. Detaches her, her over there. And I'm going to attach. You did four. just play one resource, right? Mm -hmm. Not two. Yeah. And How do your resource cards come up so fast? He goes there. What? I don't know. It seems I always, like your I always get like, like three in my first draw. It always seems like that. I don't okay. know why. Because I have not drawn a card. I can see that you have one card in your hand. Yeah. Um. If you don't have any cards in your hand, you just play, draw a card, play a card pretty much after that. And once again, I'm going to attack here. This one's covert, so I attack you for three. So that goes away. He goes to 18, correct? Mm -hmm. 18. Okay, so we did get to show you a little bit of an attack and defense. Now, if her life was higher than what I hit her, she could have a retaliation and hit me back. So, they can go back and forth, and you could play tactic abilities inside of that. So, I mean, it could be, be complete mayhem inside of this arena. Is it me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will undo my guys. I will detach. Now I'm going to show you it's how... It's the spoils of war. Yes, the spoils of war. Maybe that's why it's called the spoils. Are we just now connecting those two dots now? No, I was saying it because of the word spoils and the thing, and then the Sons of Anarchy episode last night. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, we get the to spoils share of war. war. Okay, mm -hmm. so the flip-up cost. How that's going to work is that this card, yes, was played as a resource, but when I flip him up, it doesn't get to attack. It comes into play as a brand new card. So basically what's going to happen is it basically transforms for a resource, pretend it goes to your hand, and then you play it on the table. So I have to pay the flip-up cost of three resources and two, um, uh, what are the icons? I just spaced out. Voidial? Um, threshold. Threshold. Two threshold. <laughs> what did you say? Voidial? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that even a word? I don't know. Okay, so three resources and two um, threshold icons. So, and, and each resource is always going to have an icon on it, as far as I know. Maybe they've made a blank one out there, but hopefully not. Um, but that's how that's going to work. So, and there's also no turn order. You don't have to attack at the end of your turn or, and then play a resource and then da 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 da. Uh, so, I played that flip up, but I didn't, I didn't draw a card. So, I can still play a resource as long as I'm not losing. If, as long as I'm keeping track, I can play that resource still into my pool and have it. These are depleted, sorry. Okay, so um, these guys weren't depleted, or they were and they're coming back. This guy was played last turn. He is not able to attack. So these three are now my attacking party. They are all speed four. And we are, you know, actually, we're only going to attack with two. And I'll show you guys why. So I'm going to attack with two in a party. You're letting it through? Mm-hmm. So that's three. Okay. okay. I'll go ahead and attack with my second party. This is why I wanted her to go against this, because this would have killed her. 
He but wanted now, me to use this to block. I still have a speed four, which lets me go first to do damage to her, but she still has a life of one, which is going to let her attack her one strength back to my one life and is going to kill my pillaging pirate. Are you surprised I was smarter than you in that one? Um, no, because I just scenarioed the whole thing of how it was going to go down, so I already knew it was oh. either these two guys or this guy. But did you die. think I was going to put him up against them? I was hoping. Okay, yeah. so I could kill him off. But that's how uh, combat can go back and forth, and it can be kind of hectic. So she, this character is at a one life, but I'm out of people that are able to attack. Um, if these two would have killed that card, then my pillaging pirate would have been able to hit the influence. But that's not how it went down. So to show you uh, a simulation of how it would have went, then I went ahead and killed my pillaging pirate so that you guys could see that simulation. If we're really playing, oh. that wouldn't have happened. Whatever. <laughs> is it my turn now? Uh, it is your turn. I will deplete these guys. Uh, this character is out here. And I... yeah, it's your turn. I do that. I detach. Yeah. If you guys end up picking this game up, which I really, really strongly advise getting this game, this is... This is up there with one of the best card games I've played um, as far as combative, combative and building parties and how you can fight back and forth and it's not this person does these turn order, this person does this turn order. You can do it in any order you want in your turn as long as you follow the respectful orders of your faction card. Okay. Um, now he comes into play for three. Yeah. And then... And then there's a big awkward silence. You know, can I stay with you? <laughs> can I stay with you, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go get okay, your own we're friends. Gonna do <laughs> put up to two tokens divided however you want. Oh, well, I'm guessing he's going to get one. Oh, he's getting them both. And draw a card. And so that puts me with... So, let me think. Are you done with one card in your hand? I have one card in my hand. Oh, okay. This, I'm going to put one off to give him covert, and that is going to attack him. So that's three. So this creature... He couldn't attack, but he could block, but he doesn't have the covert, so her guys are allowed to pass right through and hit my influence. So now you're 15. And... So that's why I didn't block with this. He's also a speed 4, which would have been awesome, but they have covert, so I just have to ignore them. <clears throat> like, they're stealth. <laughs> Roll a stealth check. And then... <laughs> a 15 on a d20. It Give me will be your turn. D20. <laughs> Sorry. We just got into role playing games and I'm a GM now, so it's kind of exciting to just say all that stuff. Okay, so what do I want to do? Okay, first I have to detach and I have to do this, and this guy comes up here, so we're all kosher kush with that. Now, you guys, this, this whole set, these cards all came in the box of awesomeness. Yeah, so there's yeah. also there's five decks total. Yeah, so you can, so, like, we're just showing you these two decks, but there's multiple, he put the little cards in there. But there's other cards in here um, with different... Um, foils. Because um, there's a foil card character in our decks, and there's also a foil resource. Yeah, and then what's the um, trades? The trades. Um, what are yeah. the other trades? Do you want me to read those off here? Uh, well, we have Obsession, we have Deception, we have the guys that do the micro what, who are they? Yeah, they are... The mechanical are guys? Elitism. What? No, what's, what's the top say? Elitism. What's the road, what's the staple say? Gearsmith. Gearsmith. And then the other guys are Greed, which are Banker. And those are cat people. Cat people? Yeah, they're like depicted after cats, except for the really? sort resource card. It's a lady, but the cats are actually oh, the bankers. I guess I see that. Yeah, but the deer smiths they have these things called micromagigs, and they like storm the field and the area and everything else. And, and they they really come in numbers. 
Here's the Warlords, and they have Rage. Yeah, the Warlords. So, um... That's my other deck that I have sleeved, and I actually try to run the Warlords with um, my Rogue. Or, or my uh, Deceptions. So Deception and Rage. It's your turn, isn't Being it? Being a sneaky explosive. Yeah, I just detached. I. Now, another thing about Tim is he actually became a... Yeah, I'm also a Spoils Ambassador, so if you guys are in the Indianapolis area and you guys want to play Spoils, I have all the rules finally figured out. <laughs> it took me six weeks, and I just learned at Gen Con, so I have all the rules down. I learned, not learnt. Learned. <laughs> L-E-A-R-N-T is how I spell learnt. This man has never <laughs> said learnt in his entire, well, in the entire two no, years the last I've known three him. weeks, it's been learnt. <laughs> yes, yeah, somehow he has changed his... Okay, so vocabulary. I drew a card instead of getting a uh, instead of getting a resource played. Um, so let's. And it took us so long to get this up, the six weeks because we happen to have a baby. <laughs> well, we week were, after Gen Con, we were learning to play this, and you guys have seen all of our other reviews go up, and then. It just was really hectic, and I still have stuff coming in the door <laughs> after Gen Con. Um, and then we pick up, and then we go and pick up an RPG from Pathfinder. <laughs> we go to the store, buy it, and now we're trying to learn that as well. And it's just. And this game is probably one of the more complicated games we've ever played, yeah. as far as but, rules outside of the text of the cards. So that's yeah. what has been. But that's, I mean, six weeks. That's that's plus all this other stuff we were doing. We it's weren't pushing playing. it on time. If you play it constantly for a week, you're going to get it, like, really quick. Um, it's not a hard game to learn. It's just hard to remember everything. Yeah, also look up Spoils Ambassadors page. I think you might be able to post on there. I don't know. I think you may have to be Ambassador. To See, I don't know. Because as soon as Gen Con was over, I became an Ambassador maybe three weeks later. So I have access to a bunch of stuff. So yeah. I don't know if what you... I don't... There should be... You can go to Spoils Indiana. Uh, there's an Indiana group for Spoils. Um, which, as of right now, as far as the roster shows, I'm the only ambassador here in Indiana. So whoever is playing Spoils, then you guys need to let me know. <laughs> so I can get you guys some loot and stuff and get you guys some booster packs and whatnot. So contact us. At okay, Facebook. So let's keep playing because we're going to tell you more in our in our conclusion. Yes, so this is a game we can go on talking about forever. Um, I'm sitting here with two rogue staples in my in my hand and don't and I can't play one because I just drew it. Um, what do I want to do then? Because Anna just pow. You don't have any defense, but you do have defense. Because you still got your speed two guy down there as well. Yeah, and these like could be a blocking party. He's got a life of four. Yeah, that could be a blocking party. Um, 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 <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and attack with everybody. Alright, we're all coming. I'm gonna block. Full force. Okay, so she's going to block. And I block with. She has speed, speed, speed two and speed three. My guys are all speed four. So first, I attack everything, and and I can split my whatever, however I want. I have five strength total against a four life and a three life. So I need to figure out who I want to kill off. I'm probably gonna go ahead and kill this card off. Um. Because I can, and she has more strength on this guy than she does over here. But I really don't like dealing with speed threes because my guys are speed fours. So I may want to get rid of this guy. Um, you usually don't do this, but I'll ask my opponent, what do you think I should do? <laughs> well, no, because, hold on. I mean, what would you do if, I, if you were me? Don't I just block it total? Or no? Cause... Well, I can, take my, I can take my strength and put it wherever I want. It just depends on, do I, I, there's no reason to split because I don't have a second party to come in and finish you off. So I either take one guy out completely or just split it evenly between the two and they still survive both. But I have five and you have seven total life combined. Yeah. So the best thing I could do 
is take him out because he has a higher strength. Yeah. Or take him out because he has a higher speed. I don't want you to take him out, but that's who I would take out because of that reason. Right. So she was honest. She said, I don't want you to take him out uh, because she, he, this is actually the person that gives her tokens, right? No. He actually tokens? will gain covert and he will join this party when he restores. Right. So then you would have even more life that I'd have to deal with. Right. So we were killing this guy off. So, and that wasn't for training and showing you guys purposes. That was just her being honest that, yes, I would kill that guy off over this guy. So we're just going to go ahead and say that we took, what was his life? Four. We took these two, attacked him for the four life, knocked him out. Now, I could just take him and attack this card. It would be useless. But you, you attacked me as a party, right? Yes, but I'm going to go ahead. Well, as a party, but I can split the, the strength up any way, which way I want. So let's say I attack this to you. This guy hasn't been touched yet. I yeah. just hit you with one life. Yeah, he's Your retaliation is one strength. You're still alive. You can retaliate. And you take and out I'm my befuddling banger. Right. Yeah, because these two guys have too high of life for you to take out. So you're going to take him out. Right. And he dies. So her covert party is killing me. I can't get to her influence. It's really hard. She's blocking everything that I'm doing. Can you just give me a break? No, you never give me a break. <laughs> he always kicks my butt. Is it my turn? Yes. Yeah, I'll pass it over. I didn't use any Detach. resources because I didn't have anything to pay for. I'm um, starting my turn. <coughs> Woohoo! So she draws a card. She ponders at her hand for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs Two, in a weird laugh. Four, she starts counting six. her road her obsession stuff. Put in my ping conk. That's like, I don't remember what that character is from Dragon Ball Z, but that's what that reminds me of. I pick, not Piccolo. Piccolo's the one dude, and it's not Vegeta. The big pink dude. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. Anyways. pink guy. I'm going to remove this. He gains covert. Every time he die, I come back stronger. <laughs> He's going to and more physique as attack well. here. They started as a fat marshmallow, and then he was just like four, three. Okay, so you're attacking with three for your covar. Covar. Uh, that puts me in twelve. Where are you? 12? And let me see here, three life. So like right now, she's blowing me away. Well, I mean, not really, but you are. Okay, go ahead. <coughs> oh, okay. So let's pay three. Martial arts trainee. Uh, my opponent cannot pick this card, so no matter what you do, you can't pick it. Um, I have two. I only have two here. Ah, uh, man. If you guys don't end up liking the way that this card, that this game plays, that we're showing you, it's worth buying just for the artwork and all the flavor text and everything else as well. But I would not let your children see the artwork. There's a lot of inappropriate for children artwork. Yeah, I can show you guys this card. This is the only thing that I have that's, I w I'm going to say, the most revealing. I can't say graphic because there's certain graphic cards in here. Like eye gouge. <laughs> yeah, there's visually graphic, there's visually disturbing. If anything, just Google it. There's also... Just Google the spoils cards. Sexually. This is a very adult game. Yes. This is very adult, as far as artwork. Yeah. Uh, but I was attracted to it by this artwork, because it kind of was like Kingdom Hearts-ish to me, and like this. She and really likes the upside-down spade symbol, which I liked it too. We... And we kept debating playing and everything, and then we started this review group, and then just so happened to see their booth, and we were like, hey, you know, you have anything we can review? And Ken Pilcher, the lead designer, actually hooked us up, so we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, yeah, so mm -hmm. we're really glad we got into it, and I, I'm an ambassador now, so that's kind of cool, too. So, all right. And is it my turn? Your turn. Are you attacking? I did attack. You did? Yeah, but I just didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. I put this guy out, and yeah. I started talking. Because I'm trying to give them all the information they oh, need no. to keep them to keep them up to date and going. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, you have a speed three, and then a monstrous speed three. So that means if I attack you, you can kill both my dudes. Mm. <laughs> you want to bring it? <laughs> no, we're not kamikaze or anything. Um, I, I think we're just gonna sit back. We're just gonna pass the turn over to you. Okay. I wish a rogue tactic would pop up so I could show them how it works. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna draw. <coughs> and, oh, detach. This guy gains a token. He's now able to come up. You know what's really cool? Is it's 1040. I have to be at work at 4 in the morning. And this game is so much fun, I'm not even worried about it. Okay, I'm going to... Pay three to attach to a character. This is the mittens of um, Muffled Thought. And when I pick a character that is not in battle, attach this card to the character. The attached character cannot attack and has no text. So let me... So you can't do that again, can you? That's only... Do what? You can't do the whole resource thing, like his text is... Okay, so if you inflict something on me, and I use his flip over, then I can get rid of the... whatever's on him. Okay, so then we're gonna attach this to this And then I can flip guy. him back up and over. And I cannot pick this character. So. But he wouldn't become a resource, he would just flip over. But he would get rid of everything come back. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this, this guy right here, this card enters play with two tokens on it. And then I can remove the tokens from this card to pick a resource card, put that, a non-resource card, put the card in its owner's hand. Um, and I will actually do that now. And... Oh, no, no, no. You can't pick this card. Oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> then we'll pick him. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, wait, you can't do that. It okay. says you cannot pick this card. <laughs> so I am also going to put this right here and this right here for these two cards to gain covert. Oh, another thing, I just remembered this, is you don't have to play it with just two people. You play all five decks at the same time. Yeah, multiple players. Yes, that can really cause some mayhem. Um, we're, we are attacking covertly with six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Well, I'm down to three health. So these are all depleted. <laughs> I need to change decks. These guys are here. So you can go ahead. Going on. Oh, yeah, I bet I can. Detach. I didn't attack with anyone. You basically made him no good to me except for defense. I'm gonna play a resource. See how different it is when we actually play it right? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna attach three. <laughs> attach three. It's gonna let me draw a card. Ooh. All right. Cost is three. Pick a character that's depleted. If the character has life, four or less, destroy it. Get that out of here. Stupid covert token. Mm. What are you gonna do that? You only got one guy that's covert. <laughs> <laughs> With two strengths, so it only takes. <laughs> I know, but. <laughs> have an awesome blocking party. Okay, so guys, that was a rogue tactic. Uh, was that on your turn? No. That was my turn. Anyways, you can play these uh, in between anything. When your character plays a card, when they do something that's on their card, 
when they turn it over to you as your turn, you could play this before it's actually officially your turn. Uh, so that is a tactic. You use tactics to your. You use them tactically. I mean, it's 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 that simple. Like, it's basically you can use that card any time you want. So I, it could have been her turn. I could have popped that and said, "Hey, I'm using this." Like right before she did her whole spiel with the gems, she'd be like, oh, I'm going to do this and make my covert party. I'd be like, well, I'm going to pick that guy, and he's dead. Mm -hmm. So uh, that will end my turn, and we'll go back to Anna, and we will see what she does. Because right now she's running the table. I have three health, and it's not looking good. Three health to 21. Uh, I believe I could pull it back, but that's only if I get the right cards, and if I survive. Okay, and I'm going to draw. So she can go covert with him because he's covert, and she can do the two damage that'll put me to one. But if these guys attack, I have at least two defense guys. And I'm going to but pay three to draw another card. I can actually tell that I won't make it out, not with one health. I could play defense, and I would I would still go away because she has way more power than I do. Okay. Uh, this card that she attached, it says the attached character cannot attack and has no text rules, rules text, um, which he has nothing anyways for me to use anyway, but they can still play defense, so they haven't lost completely all of their usefulness. Okay. So I am going to... But that means he can't retaliate and attack either. If I was Attack still this right here with the covert. So you put me at one. Uh-huh. Is gonna play out exactly as I thought. I'm gonna draw another thought. card. Okay. And then let's do this math here. <laughs> I think either way, even if I created a blocking party, I don't think I'm gonna survive. Because you have a guy that's six damage and three health. But we do inflict our damage first. So that's plus. <laughs> I'm gonna attack with these right here with two. Two strength. Yeah, but even if you attack with that guy in your party, because you're gonna plan another attack anyway, aren't you? Yeah. That's what I thought you are. Anyways, uh, so we'll create our attacking part or our our blocking party. Now even though she's attacking me. My guys have speed four, so they're actually going to act first. I have a total of four points. She has a total of four life on both of her characters. So since I've already blocked those two, I actually kill them off. Mm -hmm. oh, hang on. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Because I can split that. So and these now... guys are alive, but now she's going to hit me with six, and I am dead. I'm at a negative five, so... Yeah, so she paid her six. She's got the four there. Did he just come out? Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, he was out there earlier. That was the whole pink guy. I said it looked like that guy from Dragon Ball Z. So I'm officially at zero, and Anna has officially beat me at the first time we've played spoils correctly. <laughs> Last time we got really close. It was just one minor thing we were doing wrong, but minor makes a difference. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we didn't know that you could split and stuff like that, but um, that's yours. So that is it. That is a full game of spoils. Um, the rogue tactics that I have, I didn't get to really show you what could work, but um, it can go back and forth with tactic cards. And it makes a lot difference, a different when you play the tournament uh, deck because the tournament decks or the uh, a lot more cards or, or league deck are 75 cards. Um, if you want to play a limited deck, then you are at 45 card limit. And we are only playing with 41, which is the number of cards that come in each deck. Um, but there are plenty of cards to build a 75 card deck. Um, but that, that would cause you to be more conscious <clears throat> of your uh, threshold. threshold. Yeah, and the, uh, when it says you can start with two staples, if you're running two different trades, uh, you can run one staple from each trade, or you can run two of the same staple of, of one trade, uh, however you would want to do that at the very beginning of the game. So if you think you're going to have 
more of one trade pop up over the other, then you could do that. So um, that's where we're going to end this. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, our really, sh really kind of a short version of a tutorial. We'll probably post some more videos of us playing because um, I really enjoy it and plus I'm an ambassador so I should probably be doing that anyway to promote the game. Um, but uh, it's a lot of fun so I'm glad you guys joined us and we'll go ahead and go to our conclusion and uh, pretty much repeat everything that we've already said about the game. Mm -hmm.